Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am Holly Lenora and today's video, we're doing a review. Mm -hmm. Yep, yes ma'am, yes we are. We are doing a review on, okay, that's a little annoying. We're doing a review on the new Lancome Idol. Not sure if that's how you're supposed to say that. Probably not, but whatever. Uh, this is their new mascara. I heard and seen advertisements, people talk about it. Oh, I wonder what it's like, I wonder what it's like. So I decided to grab it and give it a go. Do a little review on it, nothing long, just a quick short video, some hang out with me time, some you and me time. I think we need that. How are you? I feel like I do all the talking. If you are new, thank you so, so much for clicking on me. It means more than you know, and I would love it if you would go ahead Hit that red button and join my beauty YouTube family. All things positive and happy here. And hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this video. Here is the packaging. Oops, sorry. Here is the packaging. Is that the right way? Here is the packaging for this newly released mascara. It is very beautiful, very sleek looking. I mean, that's, it's just gorgeous. I love the rose gold with the black. That is super, super sultry, very pretty on the packaging. The brush itself is curved to go with your eyes, as well as, I hope you can see how tiny the bristles are on the end of the wand here, which should give us lifted, volumized and longer lashes. This is supposed to lengthen our lashes, volumize them. I mean, they just, they need to be shooting out. And for the price, I hope it does. This bad boy, the full size is gonna run you $26 and the trial size is gonna run you $14. I have the information pulled up on my Ulta app. This is the Lancome Lash Idol. Idol. Lash lifting and volumizing mascara. It is a mascara that targets and volumizes every single lash for instant lash lift, length and fanned out volume with no clumps. The curved mascara wand pushes up and fans out lashes for an open eye effect lasting up to 24 hours while the 360 micro bristles grab every lash from root to tip no matter the length, for longer eyelashes without the clumps, the gel formula won't weigh on lashes, leaving them feathery soft, no flaking or smudging. Mm -mm -mm. We shall see. All right. As you can see, I do not have any mascara on. I simply have a little bit of eyeshadow on. I picked neutral, softer, browns, nude colors, so you could see the mascara and its full effect, at least how it works on me, myself, and I. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is just one eye. Let me get closer. So this is just one coating of the Lancome mascara. Um, first thoughts, it doesn't look bad. I do like the fact that it looks, they do look like my lashes, but better, certainly. But let's keep going before I say any more. See how this really looks. Let's do a second coat. Dag nabbit. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then just flick it off. Okay, so this is the mascara with two coats on. This is up close with two coats on. It does do a really good job with lifting and this is definitely giving me, like I said, the my lashes but better look. Um, let me do the second eye and we will see how it looks all together. This is the mascara with two coats on each eye. They're definitely, of course, longer and they do look separate 
from each other. There is volume there, certainly. My final thoughts on this mascara, it is pretty. It is very pretty. It does what it says, lengthening, volumizing, like it explained on the bristles being separate and it should grab every single lash and separate them and make them kind of flutter out. It certainly does do that. I do have mascaras that do that with, with me putting in less effort though, if that makes any sense. Um, for $26, I'm gonna say I would not repurchase that. Maybe if that was like my first high-end mascara that I had ever bought. I'm not saying it's bad at all. But as I was saying, if it was, you know, the first high-end mascara I had ever bought and these were the results, I think I'd be stoked. But because I do have other high-end mascaras that took less effort to get the same look, I would pass on it. Um, Too Faced Better Than Sex. Urban Decay Lash Freak, those are really great mascaras and they're going to be pretty much at the same price. I guess I'm telling you this because if you already have those, maybe skimp on this one or get the trial size if you just want to try it out and see. Maybe that's just my lashes. Um, I don't know. I also don't know what that just was. What? Uh, I don't know. Um, but those are my final thoughts on this mascara again don't hate it i am not saying this is a bad mascara i'm just saying i have others that will do just the same if not better with less effort from your girl okay and if i don't have to work as hard as that already do <laughs> i don't want to call me lazy whatever Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me and watching this quick little video on this new mascara. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you love it or hate it. Just to state the obvious, this is solely just my opinion. Not a bad mascara, not my favorite. Packaging rocks though. If you think different, that is so totally okay. Love it. If you are new here, I would love it if you would join my beauty YouTube family and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.